I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And I'm going to pose a question for you today that I don't, I'm not going to say it's provocative, but I want you to think about it for a little bit, okay? When did we learn how to say, I don't want to? When we were little. Why did we do that? Because we were afraid. What were we afraid of? Well, hurting ourselves, looking foolish, a bunch of different things, but it all boils down to being afraid. Now, as adults, it's really interesting how I don't want to really starts to show up in our lives, particularly in leadership roles. And you're leading an organization, you're leading a team of people, and you have someone who's making that face that basically says, yeah, I don't want to. I'm going to give you an example, and I want to take it um, from the personal world into the professional world. On the personal side, when we were teens, one of the things we loved to do is dance. Now, you may be an exception to this rule, but trust me, most of your peers like dancing. Why? Because I'm not talking about you know, swaying, you know, the, the slow dance. I'm, I'm talking about you, you like dancing. And there comes a stage in life where you don't want to, <laughs> where you start thinking, eh, it's kind of embarrassing, you know, I'm not real good at this, and other people are better, and I don't really want to dance anymore, you know. And we start putting these roadblocks up in our way. In our professional world, the same thing also shows up. You have people on the team, or you yourself, who start to think, eh, I don't really want to do this. And you don't really know what it is until you would have immersed yourself in it, but you've decided this isn't going to work or you don't like it. And you get a case of the I don't want to's. And I want to encourage you, after watching this video, find something to do daily that you don't want to do. And I want you to try doing it. Let me change the language there. I want you to do it. And I want you to do it in a way where you go into it with no preconceived notions and just notice how your mind behaves. Is it starting to go, oh, this is going to look silly, I don't want to do this. Um, now, how is it going to react? Was it as bad as you thought it was? Was it as wrong as you thought it was? You, you know, if it's in a professional situation, you can say to your boss, I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to go at it whole hog and let's review it afterwards, okay? If you've got a subordinate uh, who is giving you a case of the I don't want to's, I want to invite you to say to them, look, I, I, I get it loud and clear. You don't want to do this. Give it a shot. If, if I'm wrong, tell me. I'm not going to yell at you or anything, but I, you know, I think this could work. And you know, Tell me what, what you find out, but you have to go into it with no preconceived notions and that you're going to try, your, you're going to put your best effort into it. And let's talk about it later on. Encouraging people to transcend their I don't want to's and move forward anyway and learn from it, you'll find that there are more things that you, you know, there are a lot more things that you enjoy doing, that's in your personal life, are successful at in your professional life if you can transcend those preconceived notions that probably have no basis in reality, but they're part of the fiction that we tell ourselves that says, I, I might hurt myself here, or I might embarrass myself here, or worse yet, in the professional world, I might do it wrong, you know, wrong. So, you know, if you're leading a group, make the point of telling people, hey, look, you know, I get that you don't think this is going to work. Please give it a shot and go into it with the attitude that, hey, I think my boss is wrong. That's okay, but I'm going to give it my best effort. I'm going to talk with he or she afterwards and you know see what happens. Hope you found this helpful. NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. Encouragement and let me coach you. Reach out to me at Jeff Alpin at TheBigGameHunter.us. Have a great day. Take care.